Welcome to the Google Cloud Security Showcase, a special web series where we'll focus on security use cases that customers can solve with Google Cloud. My name is Anoush Sabouri, and I'm a product manager at Google Cloud. Today, we'll be walking through one of the top questions we get from customers, how to use Certificate Authority service to create private certificates for DevOps. Enterprise organizations are frequently surprised at the extent of extra work they must do having bought CA technology to bridge the gap between technology and their organizational and business goals. A globally scalable CA is often hard to deploy and manage because it requires deep expertise that many organizations do not have. Also, traditional CA solutions are not well suited for new cases such as microservices and DevOps because they are often inflexible, don't scale well, and are not integrated into the deployment and access control infrastructures commonly used within the cloud services. Lastly, traditional CAs are expensive with high capex and infrastructure, hardware and software licensing, in addition to expensive ongoing costs. With Google Cloud CA service, you can solve these challenges with a service that simplifies deployment and management of private CAs, which also automates time-consuming, risky, and error-prone infrastructure tasks. More specifically, you can create a private CA in minutes versus weeks that it takes to deploy a traditional CA and focus on higher value projects by offloading time-consuming tasks like hardware provisioning, infrastructure security, software deployment, high availability configuration, disaster recovery, backups, and more to the cloud. In addition to deployment and management simplification, CA service can be tailored to your needs. You can configure custom CAs and certificates, automate common tasks with APIs, and integrate with your existing systems. And finally, you can have peace of mind knowing that your CA service is highly available, scalable, backed by an SLA, auditable, and ready to help you achieve compliance with advanced hardware and software security controls. Next, we show how to get started with CA service using the Cloud Console. First, you will need to enable CA service by navigating to Certificate Authority Service tab under Security. I have already done that for this demo. After that, you can start creating a CA by clicking on Create CA. Start by deciding whether this is a root or a subordinate CA. Note that you can configure the subordinate CA to chain up to a root that is hosted outside Google Cloud Platform. Let's pick root CA. You can customize how long the certificate is valid for. Next is to decide on CA tier. DevOps optimizes for high volume, short-lived certificates, like those used in microservices valid for a few hours or days. Enterprise optimizes for lower volume, but longer-lived certificates, like laptop certificates valid for months or years. We pick enterprise uh, for the root. We can also specify the region uh, the CA runs in. Obviously, it's better to pick a region that is closer to where uh, your workload would run on. To simplify going through these steps, we also provide pre-filled CA configuration for commonly used settings, for example, for server authentication. Next step is to configure the CA subject name. And let's pick Google Cloud as the organization name security and privacy as the organization unit, and perhaps as the common name for the CA, we can pick a name like um, GCP test root CA. As you notice, we picked the same name for pool ID. A CA pool is a collection of multiple CAs with a common certificate issuance policy and IEM policy. CA pools provide the ability to rotate trust chains without any outages or downtime for their payloads. It also helps increasing the maximum throughput of the CAs by load balancing incoming requests across the CAs belonging to the same pool. When creating a new CA, we basically create a new pool for it by default. You can 
add CAs to an existing CA pool using our command line tools or APIs. And here is the resource ID belonging to the CA. Let's click on Next. Next step is to configure the CA key size and algorithm. You can choose between a Google managed key, which will be hosted on HSM, or a customer managed key, where you can configure an existing cloud KMS or HSM key to be used by CA service. Note that if you use Google managed keys, Google will take care of key lifecycle management, including deleting the keys when the CA is deleted, and there will be no extra charge for the key usage. Let's pick a 4K RSA key for the root. Next step is to configure the certificate revocation list or CREL location. First, you will need to enable CREL distribution. By default, this option is turned off since you can rely on short-lived certificates to remediate the risk. CREOs will be hosted on GCS buckets. Like CA keys, we offer two options for managing the GCS bucket. Google Manage GCS Bucket, where Google takes care of GCS Bucket lifecycle management, including deleting it when the CA is deleted, and Customer Manage GCS Bucket, where you can bring your own GCS Bucket. There will be no extra charge when using Google Manage GCS Bucket. Let's pick that. Next, you can add a label to enable easy grouping of your cloud resources as such. Last step is to review the summary and create the CA. See, it's all the information you provided. And click on Create. You can see the newly created CA in this page. Just like that, we created a cloud-based CA using Cloud HSM in a matter of seconds. In addition to Cloud Console, you can manage, automate, and integrate private CAs with APIs and gcloud command line as well. Now that the CA is created, let's see how we can obtain a certificate from it. You can leverage simple descriptive RESTful APIs to acquire and manage certificates without being an expert. You can also use the console. Let's see how that looks in the Cloud Console experience. Start by navigating to request a certificate. Here you have two options. You can either provide a certificate signing request or use the in-browser memory to create the public private key and request a certificate for that pair. You also see a notion of certificate templates here. Certificate templates can be used to enable consistency across certificates issued from different CA pools. You can use a certificate template to restrict the kinds of certificate that different individuals can issue and restrict different X509 values in the certificate. Let's pick the simple way, provide a detail. Here you can customize how long the cert is valid for, pick a name, add a domain name for the certificate, safefood.com, decide on the extended key usage extension, decide on the algorithm and key size uh, to be used to generate the public private key. And again, these keys are generated in the context of browser that you run in. Uh, Google will never see these private keys. And just like that, you have a certificate and a private key to download, which you can start using uh, in your environment. As you can see, the issue certificate shows up under private certificate manager tab. We have information about who issued the cert and um, when the cert was issued and when it's expired. From the same console, you can take actions like revoking the certificate or download the certificate full chain. We also have a tab for overview, which gives you a summary of uh, CAs in that environment, uh, including any potential access issues to the key material, uh, the, uh, the expiration for uh, the CAs, and a uh, number of certificates issued by those CAs. So this gives you a kind of a holistic view of the operation of your environment. As you can see, it is now much easier and faster to create and manage private CAs with our new service and also obtaining certificates from that service. Thank you for watching. Please visit cloud.google.com security to learn more.